DTD Auto would like to send greetings to all customers. Today, DTD Auto continues to introduce to locksmiths and technician in the repair workshops to discover more special and powerful advanced functions of MotoScan Tab 2.5 in the smart key function for Yamaha motorbikes. For example, I have a Yamaha NVX that cannot be unlocked. The motorbike search function still works normally. The knob signal is still good because the lead on the fob still flashes when the lock knob is pressed. Through a quick check using the SCU tester function on the MotoScan Tab 2.5 machine, it was determined that the malfunction belonged to electronic hardware inside SCU. So to replace the old SCU and still reuse the old keys and still be able to start the engine, the fastest way is to copy all the data from the old SCU and then reload it into the new SCU. To do this easily and quickly, we use MotoScan Tab 2.5 using the SCU tester function in the machine from version MotoScan Tab 2.5 the fault belongs to the hardware inside the SCU. Yes, MotoScan Tab has checked and found the faults. Transistor stage power circuit open or SCU, internal circuit fault that controls the solenoid valve to open the lock latch. In this case, if the customer has good financial conditions and does not need repair but requires a new SCU, we will proceed as follows. This is the new SCU. This is the old SCU that came with the motorbike. Now, let's start performing the SCU data copy function with MotoScan Tab 2.5. From the MotoScan Tab 2.5 interface, you will select the Smart Key function. Select Yamaha Manufacturer. Select SCU code B74BJ7. In this case, we need to select the SCU data copy function. Select copy data SCU function. Use the Yamaha smart key cable MTB08 YSO2 to connect the MotoScan tab to source SCU. This is the old SCU. solder the three signal wires to the position as shown in the picture or use the PCB unsolder unsoldered circuit pin. Absolutely do not touch the 12 volt signal wire when the power is connected. Do not touch the wire SCU circuit while the device is working. We press the continue button to let Moto scan tab start reading data from the old SCU. MotoScan tab has read data from the old SCU and stored it in memory. Next, MotoScan tab requests to disconnect the old SCU and connect the target SCU. Now we proceed to disconnect the old SCU and connect the new SCU to the MotoScan tab. Press the continue button. The new SCU connection is complete. We press the continue button and wait a moment for MotoScan tab to write data to the new SCU. Yes, copying SCU data is done. Now, the new SCU has the same data as the old SCU. Our job is to just plug the new SCU into the motorbike and start the engine. Now, we will plug the new SCU into the motorbike and use this old key to check. Yeah. 
Yes, the motorbike started up normally, it's great, isn't it? So, you understand how to use MotoScan tab, to copy SCU data, when replacing an old SCU, with hardware failure. You have seen very easy, convenient and fast operations, in this new version 2.5. There are many other new features, new, special and advanced functions, that are also supported in this version, which we will introduce in the next videos. Goodbye and see you again.